Hello, my name is James Dolby, and I am the author of 12 novels. I write mainly spy thrillers, but my latest book is one that has received excellent reviews. It is called The Crowley Affair. This is a very different story from any of my normal novels. It starts in 2010, but most of the story is set in the period before the First World War. It is about a man. James Alexander, who feels he is a failure. He is about to go broke, and the stress of his business life is ruining his marriage to the extent that he is considering taking his own life. Early one morning, he goes out for his usual walk by the Grand Union Canal near his home, with that in mind. But during the walk, he slips, falls, and is not unconscious. When he wakes, he cannot find his way home. It is then that his extraordinary journey begins. Which of my books needed the most research? Well, certainly from a historical point of view, it was the Crowley Affair. But the spy thrower, the Shanghai incident, was the other, as it included the history of ciphers, the quantum computer, and how the latter will change our world. The main theme behind this book, however, is the danger we face from China. It starts with the downing of the Malaysian aircraft MH370, and shortly afterwards, the MH17 shot down in the Ukraine. I show what I believe to be the truth behind these incidents. Because I write spy thrillers, I'm often asked if I was a spy. Well, one country in Africa thought so, because they issued an arrest warrant for me as a British spy. Fortunately, I managed to escape their clutches, but I have worked and lived in many areas of the world, and from time to time been involved with secret security services. The result is that I have gained a lot of information, not generally known to the public. With my thrillers, I see a new story and due to my background and experience, I assume there is more to an incident than that reported. Often, what I have written turns out to be close to the truth. How am I coping with the pandemic? I miss meeting with friends. Apart from that, I'm very lucky to have my wife by my side, and we love walking around the Appledore area where we live. My writing keeps me busy, so there is little change to my life. I do, however, feel sorry for those that have school children at home and for those who have ill health. Has anyone ever asked me to be included in one of my books? No, but I have included them just the same. This is particularly true in my non-fiction book, Sailing on Silver. It is about our time chartering a 60-foot yacht in the Caribbean, and my wife subsequently buying a restaurant over there. How can readers purchase my books? There are several ways, via Amazon, either a Kindle or paperback, or if you are a bookseller, I'm listed on Nielsen. If you want a copy quickly, Sandy Fish of the Hartman Book Festival, or just Google Goodness Me Publishing. Thank you very much for listening.